introduction concept of odd man out conceptually you can say it is not very complicated or vast vast topic very simple but only thing is that we must be aware about the things just awareness ki this is also a topic question may be asked based on this concept that much among given set of items except one remaining or follow certain relationship or pattern like if five choices are given four will follow certain pattern certain relation or certain uh, mathematical condition but one will not follow if one is not following that will become odd man out basically it will follow the classification of items like we are classifying the items maybe alphabets maybe words maybe things maybe goods maybe anything based on certain commonality what can be the commonality depends on the situation and depends on the requirement but classification generally will be based on the certain commonality then this is mainly follow the classification of items and one will be exception among them which one is exception that will called odd man out classification and types of questions basically for uh, exam point of view like classification is a very vast topic or we cannot conclude any in any subject either mathematics or philosophy or maybe biology we can't conclude classification as a topic or as a subject but classification based on the requirement and based on the target of the subject we can make some boundary and we will able to understand similar way for understanding odd man out we will make classification certain boundary and that boundary will give give us three basic type of classification one is classification of alphabet that is based on the certain arrangement of the letters maybe based on arithmetic arrangement or maybe based on certain logical arrangement or maybe based on the certain similarity of the alphabet maybe a uh, few are consonant consonant are placed together vowels are placed together or after one consonant vowel is coming again after one vowel consonant is coming with certain pattern they are following based on the certain commonality then mainly three types of classification we will discuss under this and first is based on the alphabet this chart or this table if you are remembered it will be easy it's not difficult to remember total 26 it will start with a it will go up to z no need to say it is a nursery class only thing here just uh, you can say logical way how to remember one of the tips is there you can say mnemonics that is bejoti bejoti will represent uh, b will represent the second alphabet and afterwards e j o t and y will represent at the interval of 5 or you can say multiple of 5 5 10 15 20 25 apart from that you can remember one more k is 11 that is sufficient that is sufficient to move from a to z or j to a in reverse way or forward way group of jumbled alphabets or letters typically consisting of two three or four letters they will not get very complicated like two letters or three letters or two alphabet or three alphabet is jumbled based on certain condition or based on the certain pattern all are following certain pattern but one will not follow which is not which 